everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2. Today we're going to watch a game live from Graham, an opponent. Um, I actually don't know who that is, but it looks like it could be Luna Game Seeker. And uh, why I say that is because he is a Chinese player and he looks like he's playing Korok. So that could be the revenge from yesterday. I'm pretty sure this is indeed Luna, so take that for 99% sure, which would make this a revenge battle. It is live, the game has already started, but uh, needed a little time to prepare. Graham is going to play the 11 SS Pentagon Adeo Nordland, and both are on the Maverick income. So without further ado, let's start this. Uh, wait, I gotta remove these shits first. There you go, for your own enjoyment. All right, so this is Graham's deployment here. He's going to be a tad aggressive here and here, which is a good idea because that player would definitely need to take this as soon as possible. And uh, Korok, so Luna is going to deploy like this. Pretty basic, pretty basic stuff. So now uh, Graham definitely has a better chance of winning this with 11 ss they do have good infantry good support vehicles as well he's gonna bring some mg34 in the middle there but they could be in grave danger from the flame warfare uh, exactly now he's gonna unload them right away gonna bring his puma for the uh, support they they will give against the mg42 i'm guessing no they're gonna hit these dudes Oh wow, MG34 in the open gets absolutely destroyed and trashed by these dudes. Uh, it's really important to get the defensive bonus on... Uh, you couldn't do that because there were some flamers coming in. Now in the south, uh, things are looking quite bad actually. Uh, he's holding the flag, but there is an armada of uh, good troops coming in his way. It's a good thing he does have the Puma. The Puma will be able to destroy all of these. Uh, except maybe the pack, but you'll be able to destroy all tanks here um, if given the chance. There's no uh, HE weapon here, no mortars to help them out. There's an SPW that's going to take place here and it's going to stop uh, these guys from pushing uh, too far around here. In the middle, it looks good. Both MG here were pretty trash, but uh, the Pumas are doing their job. There's a Flak 88 already to protect from the air. MG34 here did not put itself in the house. Unfortunately, Graham's attention is probably around here right now. Uh, the pioneers are going to destroy these dudes because there's there's too much pioneers. Oh my god, I hate my words. It looks like they might actually be able to do something. There's one star here and no vitrancy on Luna's side. Pretty calm here in the north. Oh, TNT drone from the opponent. And it looks like this player will give the chance to advance. But actually, he falls back for some reason. Maybe he's scared there's more. Pioneer coming in. Okay, now it's gonna start. Uh, yeah, there you go. TNT explode. Luna's gonna be able to steal that flag. It's a bit tricky to move the infantry here. You really need to tell them to come here and then advance. Otherwise, the infantry will take the automatic route to come here and get shot by the SPW ADGZ. Alright, Panzer Shrek being shot out in the open. Pumia could come here and destroy this 203 and then destroy the T60. T-34 is going to come in to engage. Oh shit, the uh, Pennsylvania 82 mil definitely going to uh, help with the... Ah, the Puma dies to the T-34. He could have won that, but I guess... Hmm. Alright, this thing uh, did help slow a little bit, but it, overall it did not do that much. There is a Stug 4 coming in that's definitely going to destroy everything here. Uh, Graham has the control over uh, the central part here. There's a couple of T-60s that are going to come. They could they could fare well against the Puma in close range. 
uh, but definitely not going to fare that well against the 88 that is a given there's two machine gun here that are gonna stop these guys from pushing any further in the open he really needs some armored uh, carrier to bring these guys into the uh, into these houses Humans are coming here to engage the MG42. They are going to do a good job at that for sure. Uh, Luna has come here with the flame buffer. This guy is one star, so he does have a better chance at shooting these dudes. These dudes. Um, all right. Well, there is massive reinforcement coming in here. Uh, it looks like the T34 is not going to go any further for now. Yeah, Pioneers are gonna clear the wood and Graham will lose that if he doesn't see and bring reinforcement right away. MG42 in the open, it will get shot to death by this uh, MG42 for sure. That's a 34 actually. 34 does create a lot more suppression than the 42, but out there in the open like that, it's just asking to get destroyed. Anyway, still going good for Graham here. He definitely controls the sky now. He's going to be targeted by 81 mil on the uh, 88. So he, I think he's going to keep moving for it. It's already getting quite damaged. Stug 4 being stuck in uh, support role here because it's shooting HE rather than going straight for the uh, armored. These infantry dying from the SPW. It's looking quite bad here for Graham, but nothing that he can't uh, come back from. After all, everything armored here can be destroyed by the Stug. Benzer Shrek could use a little more micro here. Uh, Graham's attention could be here and he'd be able to capture back this. Petri D in the open. There is some ME410 that dropped the ball on the, I would assume, yeah, on the 88. Now, when you deploy 88, you want to have a couple of light to medium anti-air surrounding it just to escape this fate. Now, they're going to go back at it for the, uh, for the uh, MG support. But they were actually ordered to change their target and now they're getting shot at from the uh, 88. Petter D in the middle. This will definitely hold ground. There's some T7E there in the open. I don't know. I don't know why they're staying in the open, but they're there. They're just asking to get killed. Coming in, it's gonna kill the 88 for sure. Oof, almost, almost. Now Graham lost that. 13 11 for Luna. There you go. Panzer Shrek do doing its job there. And then it's gonna destroy. Oh. Luna sees that he's gonna back up. Losing these two flags is quite devastating for Graham. He definitely needs more infantry. I wonder if he's got more. Um, I don't know. This is phase A after all. And he's had to invest a lot of infantry down here. Things looks like it settled down for both players. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Panther came and killed those T60s. Um, Luna still have infantry coming in. Twelve, twelve for both players. There's a flag thirty-six finally coming to the help of the eighty-eight. Um, he's, uh, yeah, so Graham's gonna bring his flamethrower, uh, difficult decision here. 
He, he does have infantry left, but he's gonna concentrate on uh, going there first. He's gonna get destroyed by the... No, this one's gonna get shot at. Hopefully Graham's gonna see that before he gets destroyed. Oh, there you go. And now this guy doesn't have any more HG shells, only one remaining. Jagdpanzer SU-76 is going to destroy. Mo just one star, I'm not sure if he has the accuracy for, for that. There you go, there you go, he did. Is that a pack 40? Yeah, pack 40 in the middle of the road. These guys are getting completely destroyed by all the uh, the support weapon there. Here comes the 82 Panzerwaffe. A bit out of uh, focus there, but still. Oh, there you go, there you go. All right, so he's, he's all there. Definitely doing a good job there. Supporting the infantry. The skumas are gonna come in close range with the pioneers. Could be a bad idea. There's a Stug 4 shooting in the pack 40. Could potentially destroy it. Being shot at by a pioneer as well. Stuka support weapon with a um, 2 twin 20 mil, 2 MG 20 mil again, and 172. This is definitely made for infantry support. But it could be in grave danger here. There's also there's no uh there's no anti-air, so that BF-109 could be coming back for it. Luna is also using the HS-129 to destroy the Panther. It looks like it actually went away uh, on damage. Pumas here, lacking HE shells, but still providing good support. Alright, so it looks like that Stuka might be able to just get away. Uh, oh god. Definitely good grounds here for Luna to keep holding these two flags, unfortunately for Graham. But as soon as the um, soon as the new phase... Oh, it is! We are in phase B. There you go, the infantry. Wow, Graham doesn't even bother going there. What is going on there? I mean, it could be so easy for him to at least grab this and then sweep around here. That would make two flags for him, putting it 12-12. I guess he does have bigger fries to cook, but still, this... this pretty important ah uh, there you go okay all right pumas and panthers are hiding now they're not really needed so he's gonna stay hidden this is finally earned back from these guys they slowly but methodically they advance and they recapture this they will even capture this flag which will put it to 12 12 now so both players you see the health bar here the, the point bar both players are about the same in amount of point now there's another 88 coming in here mm, maybe to shoot down here incoming tanks or something Shuma uh, Skuma don't have any anti-tank uh, capacity so of course Grav doesn't know what's in here but he's being very aggressive and uh, he's right to do so oh he calls it back. He doesn't want to take the chance after all. ME410 still providing good support here. It's going to be hard for these support weapon uh, to, to actually kill them. 88 was, was changed, actually. And there you go. Panzer Grenadier MG26s are going to unload here. They're going to separate. Uh, they get a corner and circle these dudes. But they are being shot at by the MG42, which is uh, pretty bad news for these guys because they can't answer back. He's going to be careful with his support weapon, his tanks, so uh, he's not going to do a job that the infantry can do. Although there is a T60 there on the hill, is never going to shoot because he can't. There you go, he's going to start moving a little bit. gonna be the nail in the coffin for these dudes uh, he's gonna move his tube there uh, but by the time this guy could retreat back into here but there is a pencil strike that's gonna meet him if he does that but then again Luna does have infantry here which will destroy the pencil strike in return all right so now he's gonna take full advantage of his tube and he's probably gonna settle around here and start shooting at the infantry um, leader coming in to put some veterancy on the flak 13-11 for Graham. 
AR-234 B2 coming in. The jet-powered bomber. This carries 1K bomb. It looks like it changed target. It's gonna rethink its position or what? I don't know. It's just going circle. VK-18.01 are coming into the field. Why? Why are these guys coming? They're not gonna do much. I guess they could take position up here in the hill maybe or uh, maybe even around here but he is bringing them around here which uh, might just take defensive position to here all right so this took is going to provide good HE support until he runs out of ammo AR to uh, the AR it looks like it shot I don't know where uh, but anyway, so uh, this infantry here is a good waste. It's a good target for his 88 to waste HE shells. Panzer trees, very beautiful tank. Looks like they're gonna provide a little bit of support here. Maybe not. Panzer 2C, I love these, you guys know that. So uh, once they get close to the action, we might get some close up on these dudes. HS129 is gonna go for these two. There's no, oh yeah, there is a Flight 36 around here. Plus these guys are able to shoot, so he's gonna have to fall back. One star uh, veterancy here. I wonder if there's a commander somewhere in this deck. AR is gonna go for which target, I don't know. None. It, it looks like it's just gonna. Yeah, it's gonna change his mind. It could have bombed around here, though. That would have been a good idea to support these infantry. That's Tug still alive. Uh, that's that was the one from phase A. He's still getting there. Some action. Uh, if these, uh, hopefully they're not going to turn around here because, uh, oh boy, they are going to get in deep trouble against the, uh, the pen, uh, the stoop. Uh, yeah, they probably good one not want to back up from there. Okay, they are against the ZXZ259 and that's gonna give them the edge because they do have 30 mil of armor. These guys can only do... Oh, wait! You know what? They could shoot them, but there's 750 meter range. Now, I don't know what they're doing there. Luna should know there's a tank there. Oh, shit. There you go. I think he's gonna back up now. He's actually going to engage. Let's watch. Oh, shit! <laughs> uh, the pack killed this dude just before exploding. Uh, I don't know what was that massive bomb there. I'm not seeing. Oh, there you go. The, the, that was him. It's starting to look back bad for Luna as Graham start to uh, take position here. There is a flight 88 as well. Good for support, but it's not definitely not going to kill any planes whatsoever. Uh, Stuka coming in for the MG42 and this one's gonna come in for the uh, artillery there that's uh, M122 all right so decent amount of infantry here will definitely do jo the job against these this art in the units especially machine gun is not there anymore plus there's a stoop for support Panzer 2c against the 259 Getting shot from the air as well, we'll need to back up. He did kill one of them though. Oh, wow, BF-109 goes frontal with the Stuka. Always, always a bad idea. I don't know what's hitting it. Ah, there you go, there's a Flak 88 right in the middle of smack dab nowhere. Uh, I wonder why it's there to support the infantry. I don't know, it's a bad move because if he gets overrun here, it's really gonna go bad for him and he could get overrun with this two tree coming in and there's nothing to actually answer against these guys. 
Until get control of the open ground, I mean, it's pretty useless to try to capture it back. At least he does capture this flag, so there's that. And uh, now Graham got both these flags. It is 14-10 for Graham, and I don't think it's going to go down from there. And we're going into phase C, where we're going to see 80-80 income. But all Graham needs to do is uh, defend for 20 minutes, consolidate his position, maybe uh, get back this flag. But this would be a big blow for Luna, as he would get two ticks uh, and lose the... Oh, good lord, that was close, but not enough. Going for the 88-2. Ouch. A bit out of focus, but uh, still get the suppress. Puts, puts it out of commission for, for a bit. VK-18 were called in for absolutely nothing. Panzer trees are coming in with another flag 88 here. This thing was never reinforced. I wonder if there's even a support, if there's even supply in there, in this deck. Uh, but anyway, Zuka Zu Fuss coming in. It's going to create a fuss indeed. We'll probably target this guy or mm, maybe these guys, but I doubt it. Yeah, exactly. He's going to target here. Oh, pack 40. Got to destroy the Stuk tree. And that's going to put, put a stop to his advance. There is a SAKZ here. He's going to... Destroy this guy. Pack 40 being shot by the infantry here is gonna allow these two to come in here. And if that stoop tree gets access here, it's gonna be uh, really bad for for any incoming support for this ground here. Yak Panzer SU76 providing HE support. There's the Stuka Zoo Fuss. Oof. Flight 36 goes down to Mortars. Uh, probably the, that SU-76. 88 is going to destroy it though in, in turn. But there is 188 down from the Stuka. Now he doesn't have choice. He needs to bring some fucking supply to reinforce these dudes. There's still a Skuma there that's going to do nothing all game. 15-9 for Graham. I wouldn't be surprised if this would be the end. If uh, Luna surrenders, I would understand. These guys did nothing. A lot of uh, reinforcement here that don't do much. I guess they were just there to protect uh, from further inquiry into this land. 16.8 for Graham. And I don't think uh, there's any coming back from this. A lot of infantry coming in. Pioneers, land shoots and hust. Um, but Christ, there's a lot to deal with here. Finally, someone's coming in to deal with that threat once and for all. A three star Stug. He, he, he sees that uh, Luna does uh, have a lot of good micro. He sees that he's going to retreat. And now this two tree could be confined here forever. Um, who knows, right? Maybe it's safer for him to leave him there. Tiger E, two star coming in. Almost gets destroyed <laughs> or gets badly damaged. The Panzer trees are going to come in. Uh, I think they're going to go first to scout. That uh, Tiger is going to take defensive position there guys could get a very bad news too. There is an AR flying overhead. We can hear it. Probably gonna drop this bomb on the Tiger. Alright, there you go. Tiger is still alive. Not even damaged though. But uh, did get a bit suppressed. Okay. Both Panzer trees dead. weapon now this is just becoming a fuck fest but uh, I would say Graham's got the superior support weapon and all that uh, I mean he does have Tigers here and pack 40s um, 
but who knows if he, he needs to play his card as well if he wants to destroy these guys and get a chance of coming back here because let's not forget there's the Stukas here there's the Penzer there's the R Vilfak Vefa coming in for reinforce for supplies as well there's uh, Sig 33 there's Flak 88 there's more infantry and the pack 40 coming in to support the Stug uh, there's a lot here that could cause serious damage to Luna and uh, he definitely needs to really put these to good use Alright, it's dead. Panzer IV could see the same treatment. Nope. AR gotta suppress these dudes. Fourteen ten. Luna did capture back this flag. And he did capture back this flag as well. Thirteen eleven so far. Alright, Tiger is gonna go down there from the 88. No, no, no way around that. Oof. Penetration here, only one more shot. Yeah, exactly. Goes down, but takes a lot of casualties. He's gonna fall back right away to uh, escape more, more fire. 13-11. Now Luna started to push back here, he, he wants to make some grounds and uh, now that he's got these things he's gonna put some pressure elsewhere, you know. But there's still this uh, Puma and Panther D from the very first of Phase A still alive, still, you know, giving good support. These guys had to back up because uh, there's too much danger around here. It would now would be a good time to start using these dudes. Flaky Day coming here. I don't know. I don't know why he keeps bringing them like that. Both player does. I'm not a big fan of uh, Flaky 88 personally. I I sometimes brings them and mostly just for air support, not anti tank. Like I I never bring them close like that from the front line. They're just a big target, in my opinion. It looks like Graham will actually lose ground here. Exactly. Uh, now you see, can get destroyed easily by Mortars. More Panzer II C to support the infantry. God, I love those. They are fucking beautiful. Imagine that in 1939. Rolling through your defense, killing everyone. But of course, this is 1944 here, and they, they don't have a big chance of survival, especially if they get caught in that. Uh, but I doubt they'll get caught. Yeah, they're going there anyway. They're good, definitely going to provide good uh, infantry support. But there is a Stug 4 here, and it doesn't have a recon, unfortunately, or else he would have shot at these long ago. There's no infantry to provide a view for him. This is very dangerous. Missed the mark a little. Uh, but still suppress and pins down these dudes. That is too bad here because, oh, Jesus Christ, this guy could have provided good support, but he's busy watching the forest instead. Fourteen ten. There's a little struggle for this fight, but it's not gonna last long. There is a MG08 around here, and uh, Flak 88 definitely gonna do the the job. Two four is gonna come in to engage these guys.
Ouch. Direct hit, but only took down two two infantrymen, so they're they're down to seven out of ten. Uh, I mean, uh, three infantrymen. You really need a direct hit with these guys to do any kind of damage. These are the 82 mil. I would say good for infantry support, but doesn't look too good for 88 uh, for big uh, for destruction of big uh, stuff. Now, what you need. There you go. What you need, you would have needed that AR coming in for that Spike uh, 88 to then finish it off and put this to fruition. Almost does nothing at all. 13, 11. It is fragile right now. 88 being shot again by uh, by this 81 mil. It's too close to the front line. Too close. All right, so these pioneers uh, were are getting destroyed. Uh, Graham wanted to capitalize on these pin down and get the surrender. I'm not sure if he will be able. There is a SPW two O three. There, there you go. He's gonna have to fall back. Panzer trees are coming in now. Two of these plus the two O three will definitely be able to to kill that SU seventy six if Graham is not careful. Fourteen ten still. That flag is in danger. That Stug there died. Another Tiger E coming into the field. And another Flak 88 dies at the exact same spot as the other one. By the exact same Mortar. I don't know why. I don't know why you would do that, Graham. Um, but there it is. These are pretty expensive. And Luna is just getting them by just sheer uh continuous fire from a single mortar which really proves how good a mortar can be in this game you just keep shelling and if the enemy never does anything about it then you'll you'll most likely destroy stuff they do a lot of damage if they hit uh directly okay one panzer tree taken care of but it does die and there is a pack 40 that could take care of everything here uh, if he's careful with it 14 10 eight minutes to go to the game and remember this is live so well of course we're a bit behind the game but this was played as we speak so i don't know who will win i don't know how long this game will be um so it's like, I mean, who knows, right? Luna could decide. I think at this point, Luna could just forward everything, which he kind of is doing right now. And and he would actually win this. Uh, there's not a lot here. There's definitely not a lot. SIG-33 support weapon, very close. Very close to, to the infantry. <coughs> to the front line, sorry. Like, here would have been doing almost the same job. Uh, but he's very, very dangerous with it. Artillery coming here, another artillery here that was never dealt. Also inflicting some damage. There's not a lot here. There is a bit of infantry coming in as reinforcement, but not much. The worst is Graham wanted his infantry to all spawn from here to reinforce there, but the AI selected this this road to to come here with because the AI is stupid like that. Now another flag 88 here, it's definitely going to die from constant pressure of these artillery. Definitely a bad idea to put them so far, so uh, in front. I don't think Ram's got much left in terms of infantry, whereas Luna probably has still a lot. And I think this is game for Graham. I think Luna will win this. So fortunately, Graham saw that in time. He's gonna unload here rather than going where he wanted to be. But uh, here is um, 
pretty fucked. Panzer II providing good infantry support. Now this Psyched A coming in in the open could get shot by... No, could not even get shot because he's not far enough. Uh, but we'll provide good support weapon... Uh, weapon... Uh, well... Support fire. Even though the line of sight says he can't see it, he's still shooting. So sometimes you gotta be careful with that line of sight. He's actually shooting between the houses. There comes the HS129. Could get the kill and there you go does get it lots of support weapon there i think this is game over for graham still uh, luna does have a lot of air and not a lot of anti-hair because he, they kept dying in the front line ar could go down no looks like elite will protect from that same with the flight 36 now it's the ba 409 that could potentially die now yeah there you go 12 12 as Luna takes ever more rounds around here, and it looks like a clear lack of troops to defend. Although Graham could capture back this flag with relative ease by now. Kosakin. Uh, Hungarian, I think. Yeah, this is pretty bad. SPW still alive, been alive the whole game. Still got a little bit of ammo, but only machine gun ammo. These mortar artillery are di are going to destroy this in no time. Uh, Still got the flag here by little. Now there's a there's a big uh, support there. SPW203 will do a lot of damage to these guys. Flag 88 is out of HE ammo almost. Still got seven, but I think he's gonna die first. And yeah, there it comes the ME410. Oh, they're actually going for these dudes. Oh. There you go. This is going to do a little bit of damage, but I don't think it's going to kill that 203. That 203 is most likely going to kill them first. And that 88 as well. Let's not forget about it. 1311 for Luna. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no coming back from this. Graham lost that game. Power of the Panzer II. Doesn't do much. He, um, who's that? Ah, oh, that's the one. That's the one that he used for uh, the entire game. He went here to resupply and he brought another one forward. Now all of these small little support weapons that people will never think about getting, uh, they're, really being, they're being really useful here. Um, I guess they're especially good when you play against a Maverick player. Because the Thales player would probably have a lot of heavies on the ground right now. Um, now there's not a lot of things that Graham can do. He's bringing another uh, Flight 88 here to contain 
I don't think that's gonna do much. Plus, like, look, there's that Skuma here for, that was here the whole time. Definitely going to engage this and stop it from, from going there. Uh, 10 14 captures this flag. It's gonna capture this one soon. Stuka down. Oh, yeah. 15 9. This is over. This flag is going to get overwhelmed as well because now there's a 9 health grenadier against a tree. Although this one is in heavy cover. I don't think it's going to save him. Oh shit, maybe because look at that. Look at the suppression. He could actually defend there. <laughs> and there you go. That's going to get pinned down. Wow. It really showcased the importance of putting your troops in, in cover before engaging the enemy. All right, Graham, when when do you surrender? At one point, do you say, I'm done? Now, if you want to take a bet with me, I'd say in at the 43 minute mark, Graham will surrender. There is a tiger. He coming in there there's one there there's a flag 88 that's gonna provide a little support I guess he's there to shoot at the hill then again yeah no at the 43 minute mark I said 17 7 could be earlier then we'll see he does have some SPW 231 from phase A I imagine he never used uh, the only thing defending here is a leader, Flight 88, a Flight 36. Uh, here he's going to be able to hold the lines for sure. And there's that Pack 40 going to kill that T-34. Yeah. Flag 88 has been given the order to only shoot AP shells. 30 seconds before Graham surrenders. 18-6 for Luna. Oof, ouch. It really looked like Graham was about to win this, but I guess the power of Koruk 559 is bigger. Uh, I mean, he can spam a lot of uh, cheap infantry like these Lenson shoots and us they're only 15 points and they do a good good enough job with the proper support it is past 43 minutes Graham didn't surrender yet so if you did bet with longer then you win congrats gonna lose all the support here there you go 231 going down some gonna idea coming in with more support Graham really wants to fight till the end but uh, let's see let's advance this a little there's no I mean he's not gonna win that it's impossible there you go there's Graham there's Graham surrendering after the 45 minute and um, 
Yeah, so this was Luna. It is is uh it is is symbol. Eighty one percent victory there. Good player, very good player. Can we see Graham as well? No, we cannot see. That sucks. But uh, yeah. How much? Uh, Thirty three to forty five. Good game to both players. Good game. It was fun to watch. I really thought at first Graham was gonna win this, uh, but then it took a severe turn. Uh. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you later as usual. Goodbye.